at my channel. I'm kind of filming at a later time today, so I only have my artificial lighting. So if the lighting seems a little bit off or weird, not as bright as usual, it's because I have my like studio lights on instead of my just my windows that usually illuminate the, my video. I don't even know. So today's exciting video. I don't even want to say the word school, <laughs> but it is back to school time and we can make it as fun as we can by buying cute supplies. So I figured you guys, I tweeted like who wants to see the supplies I got. If you're interested, I will show you. If you're not, cool, no one will see. I don't, they're just some notebooks and stuff. So I figured I'd be cool to kind of show you the way I organize my stuff. Well, haul it and explain it to you and do a giveaway with it. I'll just talk about the giveaway really, really quickly in the beginning just so you I don't know, just so you know right away, I don't want you to be like all anxious to the end. The giveaway is pretty basic. I'm just going to be giving away everything that I got, if that makes sense. Like, I, like well, everything I'm just about to show you, I'm going to go rebuy the same exact things and send you basically my, like, back to school supplies, if that makes sense. Um, so all you have to do to enter is follow me on Twitter and Instagram and comment enter me one time. If you enter more than, if you comment more than once, you'll be disqualified. And you can, but you can, you can leave, like, a normal comment on this video, like, just like... Oh, if you can comment enter me, then like leave another comment just being like, hey, like your candles didn't look good in this video or something like that. Like you can leave another comment, but only please enter yourself once because it just gets really annoying when I'm like trying to pick a winner and stuff like that. So that's all. I have my Twitter and Instagram down below. If you don't even want to look, I can just tell you what it is. PBBunny97 for Twitter. PBBunny97YT lowercase for my Instagram. And I got my school supplies at Staples. Not sponsored by Staples. Never been in contact with Staples. It's just that I don't want to go to Target because people from school are there and um, our office max clothes. So I was like, Staples, we're going for you. In the first goodie bag of stuff for the Escuela. Um, I got some book covers. Our school, not, they don't require, some classes like require you to have a book cover and it's really weird and they're like so strict about it and they're like, come in tomorrow and I'm gonna be checking up names if you don't have a book cover that's like, you don't get your five points and I was like, <sighs> so I just, I always like to buy some at the end of the year just so I don't have to go out and buy some like the first day of school because you know who has time for that. We're already back at school, we don't want to be getting supplies, I don't know. And plus like cute covers sell out really quickly and I really like having my book covers to be different um a lot of times I like plain colors everything to be kind of the same I like to keep my book covers different so in my locker when I'm in a hurry you know you're probably exhausted you went to bed at two in the morning you woke up at six you got to school and you're just like uh what book do I grab I like to kind of like know what book is what class so I get different book covers and I got some cute ones that I'll show you. Got this little black one. They're from by the Isabella brand. They're just kind of right in the front when I walked in. There's a section for them. So if you're a Staples, you walk and there'll probably be a section. There's a lot of them. Um, I don't know what size I got. I got the jumbo one. Because I feel like either I feel like you should just get the jumbo one because most jumbo ones will fit smaller books anyway. Like my Spanish book is pretty thin and I use a jumbo one and it's like fine on it. It's not too loose, you know. It's kind of like Brandy Melville, you know, one size fits all. Um, so yeah, I thought this print was a nice. It was remind you like tile print, I don't know. And then I got this one. Alright, this one's a little bit free, I'll admit. Whatever. Um, I got this one. I really like this one. I like the back, like the little flowers. And then I got <laughs> this one. So, these are the four I got. I only got four because I'm hoping that only like four classes will require it. That I'm, I'm thinking like my class that would require probably the four core ones. If I have to go out and buy two more for my other two classes, I will. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully they don't, you know, whatever. If it's not required, I don't. Okay, how I determine if I get a book cover for a book if it's on my own, like teachers don't require it, it's if I bring it back and forth a lot. Because when I bring it back and forth, I know I might like skid it somewhere, it might fall out of my window, in my car while I'm driving, I might throw it out my window, I might get pissed off. These pe pen these are these pencils, please don't. Oh, they have pencils like this too. They're like the white, the white ink joy ones. Not ink joy, but they're like what? I think I got those pencils. They look alike. Okay, so um, I got the these pens. I don't know what line it is. It's like, it's just like these white ones. I've always gotten them and I love them. They're just, I don't like, I don't like the inky pens. I like the rollerballs because I feel like rollerballs roll smoothly on your notebook. Those inky ones, I feel like I'm like taking a wood stick and scratching paper and it like, then it le oh, I just, I hate those like super fine like print when it's like liquid. I don't, do you know what I'm saying? Like the, basically I only like rollerball pens. I don't know. These are, well, they were quite nice. There's some white colors, you know, brighten up your day. And then I got I'm sorry, I'm just throwing everything on the ground. I feel like such a rash person, but and like these mechanical pencils are bomb. I don't even these. Oh, I love these. I I know they're just I, okay. I always uh, I always use mechanical pencils just because I don't know. I don't like the way 
I'm just like I said, I'm, I'm such a weird person. I don't, I just don't like sharpening pencils because it's really awkward in front of your class if you already know. And also, I hate how like on a normal pencil, that one part, like that part of the wood that's like, okay, so it's like this is your pencil, this is the tip, and then that in between, between like the nice laminated color and like the middle, that scratches my fingers and it like, I just hate the feeling of it. I don't know. It's weird. Um, these are, um, I think these are a 0.5, yeah, 0.5 lead and stuff and they're just right really thinly like you know the 0.7 ones that are like those thick ones with the grips that like have a huge eraser that spins out that you click like you know the paper paint ones you know like they have them like a pink and purple packs you guys know which ones i'm talking about hopefully like those are right way, way too thick i like how thin these write when you i don't know i just like like the fine print of them and i like that they're like white and they just make me happy okay then i got more pens because i mostly at school write do write in pen just because I don't know, I like like the way, I feel like it looks more professional, I don't know, but I do use pencils for math, that's kind of my thing, pen for any other subject, but math I do use pencil, just cause you know, everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days, everybody does have them. okay, so and these are the For Her pens by Bic, they have them in the colored ones, I have these in the actual color ones, these are black. They have these exact pens, but they're just pink and purple ink, but I got them just in the black ink. They're super pretty. They have nice, like, designs on them. Beautifully smooth, they say. What the hell? Like, seriously, I'm just dropping everything. I guess you can tell how excited I am. So, I've always used the Bright Lanterns, but, um, I, just, cause I, I like how thin they usually are, but this year they came out with ones that, like, you, like, click out. Retractable, that's what the word is. You know, we read a lot of books and we have to annotate at our school and we like get grades for annotation. So I literally just highlight my entire book basically, which is like, meh, and like write the dumbest comments ever. I'm like, I can relate to this because. So I don't know. Thought there were some fun colors, so. And I always like having highlighters on me for my agenda. Uh, oh my, I ordered an agenda last night actually. I ordered one from Lily Pulitzer because I have an agenda, I've already talked about it in my, I feel like I, oh, my freshman advice video, but that's like my YouTube agenda for filming my vlog channel and this channel just like stuff I need to do I have that this is like going to be a school one it's the Lily Pulitzer one and the elephant print when I get it it will be featured in a video let me tell you let me know if you want me to do a what's in my school bag when school starts because I would I think someone's screaming for her cat outside I hope she finds her kitty but um yeah let me know if you want me to do that I would definitely do it <laughs> now then I got also these okay at Staples, they have this called Martha Stewart Home Office Collection, and everything is so cute, and it's kind of expensive, like, a regular notebook from, like, the Staples brand is a dollar, and then, like, the Martha Stewart one's seven, so, you know, but it's so, 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 so cute, and they have these, like, um, note tabs, they say they're durable, and they just, the colors are so pretty, it's, like, light pink, light blue, light green, and light yellow, and, um, I need these for, like, I mark, when I read books, I mark, like, important events or, like, climaxes, stuff like that to do, because sometimes it's up for tests, so you can use our book, and I already have it marked, but I just, or if you guys do ever, do you guys do, like, um, like, the AIM class essay type of things where, like, it's a time thing, like, the AP prompts where they time you, and you have to, like, write, yeah, for those types of things, sometimes we're allowed to use our book on occasion, we are allowed to, um, uh, for that type of crap, I like to just have them, so if, like, I need to find a quote really quickly, I just have it ready if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just really really like marking things. I on on like under pressure I can't really search for things that well. It's kind of weird. Then I got some notebooks. I decided to mix getting some of the Martha Stewart ones and some normal ones. Yeah no. Didn't want to spend too much. But I was gonna start. This one is actually super cute. There's only one of them. It was a staples notebook and it has like it's like pastel and it has this girl on it. She looks quite stylish. There's a lot of cars in the background. Probably it's like a city. It looks like New York City. I don't know. Someone's gonna be like, no, it's not. You know, whatever. It's just it's just a cute one. They only had one of these. If they had more, I'd get more. But it I guess it'd be kind of challenging to know which is for which subject. Okay, is it just me or is it the hardest dilemma to decide which notebook and which folder to use for which class? Okay, please tell me that you guys are like that too. Like I always do like the one class that like we like take notes a lot in, I'm gonna put my best notebook for that class because I know I'm gonna like use and see the notebook a lot. Is that just me? Please tell me it's not just me, but like, I don't know, this one's like one of my favorite ones. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. I feel like I'm going to use this one for like, math. We take notes like every day. Phantom Martha Stewart Collection Notebook. It's like gorgeous. It's like pink, light pink and swirly. Um, and but and the paper, like the notebook is like actually like really nice paper. It's like white paper with like mint green lines, you know. Super cute. And then it says negotiate better, take time to consider both sides. Gather, f okay. 
Oh, it's like it's like it's like cute little advice for like when you're doing your homework and stuff. I don't know. Whatever. It was just really really cute. I don't know what class I'm gonna use this for. Perhaps Spanish. Just kidding. In our Spanish class, we don't take that many notes. We just get like packets of like the conjugations and stuff like that. So you know, maybe we're not gonna, we're not gonna waste a good notebook. Another Martha Stewart one. I'm obsessed. It's mint green, like flowers. And you guys know, like I love flowers. It's like an obsession. Like I feel like I'm a flower child, and I just in every video I'm just gonna update you that my orchids are still alive because not all people have faith in me that I can keep flowers alive but my orchids are alive um and this was just like super adorable too I don't know I'm trying like I'm like literally trying to decide what class to use this for I think I'm gonna use this for my uh, history class you know take some history notes in this one then I got last then these this one was just a staple one it's just like a hot pink one ba bam this will be my span no my this blue one's gonna be my Spanish one I'll show you in a second it's like not my favorite one. I feel like we're not going to use a lot, but this pink one's very nice too. Just like hot pink. I like the ones with the plastic covers because the ones that are like the not plastic ones, like the cardboard ones, no. Those are just a no. They rip and they're just annoying. This is like a light blue one. It's pretty, but like, I'm probably going to do this one for Spanish. And then, oh my gosh, this is, okay, I lied. I think this might be my favorite. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. It's another Martha Stewart one and it's like, this black print on it with flowers it reminds me of like a home decor item like if I could just set this down for the decor what I should I use for I think I'm gonna use this one for English because we write a lot or at least we did last year then I got like some other things which is this is the last thing okay from Target I sent to Target to get this thing okay Spanish, okay, this last year I took Spanish 3, this year I'm going to Spanish 4, I'm a junior, so I don't know how your school's doing, but that's what I'm in. And Spanish 3, if you haven't taken it yet, if you have, you know if you haven't, then I'm telling you, you do like a lot of like grammar, like subjunctive, indicative, infinitive, and it's, for me at least, it's hard to memorize everything like that. Like, I really, I remember so many things, like for me, mem memorization isn't that hard, like I literally can tell you about every Mac product in the store almost, but like for the conjugations, I would always just get confused, like, oh, indicative, infinitive, like, Spanish was like not, like it's easy to me, but the grammar wasn't that easy, I don't know, like, I actually had to put an effort to like go out of my way to like learn it, and I don't know, I just... I heard that in Spanish 4 you do a lot more with grammar, so I got this sheet of paper from Target. It's like this laminated sheet. They have it for like a lot of different classes, so like French and German and like even math they had one, so definitely check it out at Target. It's double, double like sided and it has, okay, I can't even tell you, it has the alphabet, the numerals, cardinals, ordinals, rules of stress, symbols, articles, adverbs, adjectives, preposition, nouns, pronouns, verbs, present tense, preterite tense, stem changing verbs, irregular, like and perfect imperative, future and conditional, and perfect plural usage of them. It's like everything, like on this laminated sheet. So it's gonna be really helpful. I feel like for this year, like I literally feel like I'm gonna refer to this almost every day. And then there's like a lot of question and answer study kind of things on the back to test yourself. I don't know. I just thought it was. I can just see myself because we're when we, we have to like we have to do these things where we had to last year where you'd like they'd ask you. It'd be like silent. And like they'd give you a piece of paper and it'd like ask you a question in Spanish and you to reply to it in Spanish. Oh. That was hard. Like, so I just feel like this will help me if I, like, on homework and stuff. I don't know, I just, it's, like, just so, such a helpful thing. Like, it's going to take forever to make for me. Because I have to make myself soda, guys, but I could never make something like this. So, it was really helpful, and they have them at Target. I don't know if a lot of people use a binder for school or binders for each class, but I have six classes, and I'm obviously not going to use six binders. Um, and also, for our classes, our teachers don't hole punch anything really at all. So, I'm not, I just... Binders just don't work for me for school at all because papers aren't a whole bunch. I end up getting really messy. The binder gets big. Like, I just don't do binders. I just use a separate folder for every class. And um, last thing that I got, I got just like plain colored folders. I got this one. You know, it's what else. Bam. I think I'm gonna like match them really cutely. If that makes sense. Like I'm gonna do like this notebook with this folder. You know. Okay, stop it. You guys are hating on me. I got okay. They didn't have a quite <laughs> quite a large uh, color variety, so we. I, I just had to. I didn't want to have the same color folder because like I need to distinguish classes. So I had to get a yellow one. Whatever. It's kind of like a daisy. It's bright. Study. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, stop light blue I, and this one some of them okay they only had a few of these ones that had like the file or you could put something in the front 
I guess that's helpful. You know what I, I used to put in there at the beginning of the year? Don't your teachers give you a syllabus? At least some of, some of ours do, the good ones usually do, and like give you like home, like homework rules and like how your like grades will be divided, like your homework percentage, tests, quizzes, stuff like that. I'm gonna put that sheet in the front, you know. Have their email on there if you get pissed off, you know, get your iPhone, look at your thing, like, girl, you got me, gave me the wrong grade. Okay, I'm gonna match this one with the blue folder. A few of them left. Folders. And then I got a teal one with a sheet, and then I got another pink one with the sheet. I guess that might be hard to distinguish, but we'll figure it out. They just did not have a large color variety. So that was all for my big to school supplies. I'm pretty a simple person when I go back to school. I don't go too crazy. I'm not like that girl who has like a fan in her locker, a lemonade machine now. Like I'm pretty chill. Like I just I use a notebook for a class and a folder. I feel like it's the most organized way. You don't have to hole punch anything. You have everything kind of together. Um, like I said, I used to take notes on my iPad. A lot of people are asking me about like how I take notes and what note app I use. I use Notability if you do take notes on your iPad. For however, for me, like I said, my freshman advice video was hard to type with my nails. And I felt like I wasn't remembering the information as well when I was typing it rather than writing it with my own hands. And like when I write it, you kind of remember. It, it's like a research fact too that when you write things down, you remember it. So that was that. If you want to win everything that I got, just simply comment under me. This will last one week from when this is uploaded. So I don't know when this will be up because I don't know yet. But just I'll have the what's it called date that it'll be over right here. If you want to enter? Just follow me on the Twitter. I'm pretty funny on there. I do a lot of like mini giveaways on there and stuff like that. Like I did like a workout tank giveaway that was like eat clean, train dirty. It was kind of cute. If you guys remember that. Um. And on Instagram, I post some funny pictures, I guess, mostly of food. So if you get hungry easily, I guess you might be tempted a lot. But if you're interested, just comment that. I hope you guys have a great school year when you go back to school. Like I said, it makes you feel better. I'm in school too. We're all doing it together. None of you guys are alone. Let's rock the school year. Get them amazing grades. Have cute supplies. And I just love you guys to pieces. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye. <laughs>